are so welcome back guys and like you can see here on my video i have this widow which i've opened here which is the plugins and on my last video i tried to discuss more about the plugins and i told you that unreal engine is uh like uh we call let's call it like a central uh, like a central home for the plugins because unreal engine uses so many plugins to operate and like you see here whatever i say like we have more than 296 plugins which they are built in and those plugins some of them they are enabled and some of them they are not enabled so you need like you have the houdini which you have to have houdini to have this plugin here you have the icon library which you have to have the icon and then you have to install this plugin and can show you where you have you get this plugin like the icon library which you are going to install most of them they are like and an, are not enabled and then you just need to and when you click enabled this one will pop up here if you want to use this plugin you need to restart now before i do that one i want to show you some of these and two things the first one i would like to show you is that um i would like to show you where you get the plugins like if you come here on the epic game i hope it's going to start first and you go to the library or you go to the marketplace you can search for the plugin that you need like if i just want the unreal uh, uh icon let me see this plugin give me some stress sometime too so like if you have um this one ico live ring plugin you need to come and get it here on the marketplace just click here on the search click icon live ring it will appear just click that one and now you be asked to install this plugin when you install these plugins you just go and enable it in your unreal agent and then restart your unreal agent to have it now that you can be able to use it on a little agent so that's how you get the plugin then the other thing you need to shake like it is only used by a little agent 4.20 to only agent 4.26 we are we are on the i showed a video where we had to download the unreal agent and the kind of fashion that we are available on the unreal agent for me i use most uh, little agent 4.25.4 and also i have this one the unreal agent 4.26 which is one the the one that is new which i don't use a lot and if you just have you just need to use the two of them so now you have uh downloaded your little agent you have installed your little agent now you want now to start uh um installing the plugins so the first thing i want to show you is something here you have this on so the plugin for the icon if you want to use the icon and a little agent so the thing you what you need to do is that you need to come here plugins and i just go to the icon auto setup this one is a very important tools and i'll show you the reason why because if you just need to import any character than real agent and you don't have the icon auto setup this character will take you years to to do some lay some there, there are so many things that you need to do to make this character be used in a little agent so what i just do is just i go to the icon this is the plugin that i need icon auto setup i just go to the browse file and then it opened for me the unreal folder and then i just open this one it will give me the option that they have and which auto setup they have so like i said i'm using an agent 4.25 this one here and they have two version like Unreal Agent 1.04, which I think is a node version. And now they have Unreal Agent 1.1. This is what I need. So I just need to open this one here. And what I do is that I copy plugins and content. So I just copy the two of them. And now I just need to close that one. And I, I make I minimize my icon. And now where you made your folder like for me i showed you when i was starting for the uh, for the first video when i had to make my project i had to save my project with a name and my our project we call it you can see this one here al legion toot this is the project uh, name but now the project folder is unreal agent tutorial if you just click it you will see there is this one here the unreal agent toot one so this is whatever we are going to do is just going to be cut to be saved here so we just double click and now we have the content and whatever so what i just do is just i come here just light click and i paste this one here so i did some mistake somewhere i just click and so and i paste so the two of them will be pasted there and i'll show you something now now when i'm done i just need to cross this one here i don't need it anymore i just go back to my little agent 
and I now go back to my plugins. And when you click the plugin, you have to do that if you have to use those plugins, you need to restart your Unreal Engine. So what happens that you need just to click Let's start now. And it asks you, do you want to save? If you have something important, I like to say sometime, save. You don't lose anything. And now it's going to restart again. This will not take too much time if it's the first time. You are using a list, sometimes take time. I showed you, I told you sometime, if you don't have a very good graphic card, it will ask you all those questions, like the resolution and everything. Just say yes. You need to start it. And now, let's see what is going to happen. And now we have this icon auto setup already enabled let me show you how to know whether it's enabled just if this one is ask you the project file is outdated would you like to update just say update doesn't bring any sense that's those are information that they are irrelevant when you're using a little agent sometime so now we have all the plugin that we need to use like the one i told you we have the replica which is a plugin you can just check it in the market here just come here and light replica i'll show you what the replica does like the replica, then install it, and then you, you come and update it, enable it here. We have the Icron Live Rig, we have Houdini, and we have the Character Creator. Those are the most plugins that I use when I'm doing my cinematic video. Now, like we have, everything is updated, so you can just cancel this one, don't need it anymore. And now, if you look here on the top, we have now the replica, we have the Character, uh, 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 character Creator Setup, and we have now the Icon Live Rig. So those are the things that now we need to get started with the Unreal Engine. So this video, I just want to make it purpose for the plugins and how to do the character creator setup. And this is now on the next video, we announced we don't have anything like our Unreal Engine look empty. We cannot do anything. And like you can see here on the contact browser, now we have the character creator shaders and Houdini Engine. So this one, the folder, everything that you create will be appearing here. So the best thing you need to do, you can just, I'll show you how you can create a folder. And now you, you can start just making that you don't have everything that's appearing here just to make your work organized. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you to see you on the next video.